To Lakewood now at 604, where it has been years since the former hospital there was leveled to the ground. And it's left many wondering what will actually replace the vacant space and how it will impact the community long term. Our Mike Holden is getting answers this morning. He has a look at the next step in the process. Good morning, Mike. Danita, Mike, good morning to you. A lot of people are wondering. What's going on with this situation out here? I mean, it feels like it's been years because it has. And as we give you a live look, it is quite literally a wide open space surrounded by fencing. And we're across the street because parking is extremely limited. But the officials behind this project say it's going to be worth the wait. It'll start with stormwater improvements and then eventually a full scale overhaul soon. What is taking so long? Take a stroll down Detroit Avenue in Lakewood, and it is not hard to find someone wondering how and why this space at the corner of Bell has sat vacant for as long as it has. It's a big hole in the ground. It reminds me of an episode of Parks and Recreation. There's a big hole in the ground. So I said, only in Lakewood, Ohio, can that, can that happen? Amidst controversy, Lakewood Hospital closed back in 2016. Construction equipment is now in place, but not for a full-scale build just yet. A few weeks back, the city started the next phase of stormwater improvements. Crews are now making grading adjustments, relocating the stormwater pipe by removing trees at the southwest corner, and eventually installing a new water pipe. Lifelong resident William Pierce says it's essential. Hopefully it improves in the water and uh, when it rains, it usually floods down here. This will all pave the way for a $90 million mixed use development by Casto and North Point Realty. Officials say the project will include 200 units of rental and four purchase housing, restaurants, retail and significant office space. Uh, that'd be great. I'd love it. Downtown Lakewood have new housing. Tremendous idea. And finding parking, as you can see, as well as overall congestion are both concerns behind this project. The developers plan to add a new parking garage with at least 500 spots. Patience, though, is key. As the city says Casto and North Point Realty continue to work through the city's plan development review process and have received preliminary plan approval from the Planning Commission. The proposal is now in the hands of the city's architectural board of review. Taken forever, but I think if it all comes to fruition, it'll be worth the wait. Positive thoughts apparently bring positive results. That's the hope for this project. Now we know the stormwater improvements, according to city officials, are expected to be completed tentatively here in December. But the million dollar question is, well, Danita, when will we actually be breaking ground and starting to see the full scale improvements? That's not entirely clear at this point. I did reach out to Casto, the company behind this project. They said they have no comment, but Lakewood officials say they're kind of working through the process. They're going to hope everything goes the way that they wish. In the meantime, we'll continue to monitor and uh, we'll have our fingers crossed as well, too. Uh, I got my fingers crossed, too, Mike. All right. Thank you so much.